Justin Thomas has an unexpected hurdle in defending his FedEx Cup title. JT said Tuesday he injured his wrist at the BMW Championship just two weeks ago. The 25-year-old had his wrist taped up at a press conference. Yesterday, he called it a tweak, and he should be good to go at Eastlake this week. We'll see. The injury could also affect his Ryder Cup in se late September. Again, he downplayed the severity of the injury, though. Apparently, crisis averted, but we'll see. Thomas in fifth in the FedEx Cup standings before the final tournament of the year at Eastlake. It means that he controls his destiny to win the FedEx Cup. The top five can win it all with a win this week. Guys outside the top five can win, but they need a lot of other results to break their way. So let's bring in Kyle Porter, writes about golf right here at CBS. So Kyle, JT says the wrist is no big deal. What's your concern level considering it is a wrist injury and he is a golfer? Well, it, it, it's not super high just because we, we haven't seen it affect his play and competition. He's been playing pretty well. You know, he hasn't had the greatest last two uh, playoff events, but he's been playing, you know, well for the last month. I, I think the bigger concern maybe than the Tour Championship is, you know, what if he actually like really injures it during the Tour Championship and then there's some there's some question marks for the for the Ryder Cup. I, I think that. Uh, if you're him, if you're obviously uh, Jim Furyk, who's captain in the U.S. team, that that could be the bigger issue. But you know, we'll let it play out. I, I think he'll probably be fine. Everybody's sort of hurt this time of year with various ailments, uh, but I have no reason to be super concerned about Justin Thomas right now. Who would be an injury sub if he couldn't go at the Ryder Cup? That's a good question. You know, there's going to be some different uh, vice captains, assistant captains over there for the U.S. guys like Matt Kuchar, Zach Johnson. I suppose one of them could fill in. Maybe you bring in Xander Shoffley as, as, you know, if any if any of these guys, you know, Ricky Fowler's been struggling with injuries. If any of them gets severely injured at the Tour Championship, you know, I, I think it would probably be Shoffley because he's kind of was considered the next in line in terms of guys that are playing really well right now. But you could also take one of those vice captains and kind of just plug him in and, and see what happens over in Paris. All right, let's talk about East Lake. The top five control their own destiny. It is in order of the standings. Bryson DeChambeau, Justin Rose, Tony Fino, Dustin Johnson, and Justin Thomas. Who do you like this week? Well, I really like Justin Rose. He's playing just unbelievable golf right now. Two straight runners up uh, at the last two playoff events. And, you know, he's got a really good history at East Lake. He's finished in the top 10 five of the last six times. I know there's only 30 guys in that field, but it's an elite field. It always contains, you know, the 20, 25 of the best players in the world. And Rose has been, uh, he, you know, he, he is the number one player in the world right now. He, he attained that after the BMW championship. So when you look at, when you converge his uh, history at Eastlake uh, with the way he's playing right now overall, uh, I got to go with him and, and uh, think he gets it done at, at the Tour Championship. And if you're correct, he gets 10.